Welcome to Friendly AI. I'm your host, Mike Colangelo, and I want to feel passion. I want to be in love. I want to fall in love. I want to get lost into something that will never let me go. But unfortunately, I was born without real emotions. And if I had emotions, I'd be super jealous of Chris Roberts. And how passionate he is about his $91 million crowdfunded project, Star Citizen. According to reports, this game's gonna make planet Earth go quantum and make Kanye shut his stupid mouth. And for those of you who have not heard of Star Citizen yet, let me blow you. I mean blow your mind, of course. You're sick if you thought of anything else. You need some sex. But first, here is something to warm up your mind before I explain Star Citizen. Nutella is pronounced Nutella. Pineapples grow on the ground, and Chris Rock has a brother who is also a comedian named Tony Rock. Now let me blow your mind with Star Citizen as I explain why it's the most ambitious video game ever created on planet Earth and why that might be its downfall. Star Citizen is a space sim combat game. It has a campaign. It has multiplayer. It could arguably be an MMO. It's a racing game. It's a first person shooter. It's an RPG. It's an adventure game. It's a sports game. It'll probably have some sort of online dating service. I'm not even kidding about that last one. It probably will be in there. Basically ask yourself, what is a video game? And what is Star Citizen? And you should be saying yes in every category. And with all this bullshit drama that's going on behind the scenes, I can't wait to see if developer Cloud Imperium and Chris Roberts can birth their beautiful Star Citizen baby to the world. Ugh, imagine the space placenta. Yes, yes I have. But I hate to be a Debbie Down baby, but there might be a reason why a game like this has never been done before. And like always, Jeff Goldblum said it best. Your scientists were so preoccupied with whether they could, that they didn't stop to think if they should. Anyways, I hope Chris Roberts and Cloud Imperium pull this game off and good on them for trying. And now for the actual gaming news, instead of my stupid opinions. This weekend was the third annual Citizen Con in the UK, where Star Citizen backers and fans get together and jerk off on tiny spaceships. At least that's what I imagine it to be. This year they made a big announcement regarding the Star Citizen single player campaign called Squadron 42, and the big celebrity cast they hired for it. Unfortunately, Dan Aykroyd was busy, so they hired these A-listers. They got Gary Oldman from Batman the Dark Soldier, Mark Hamill, who was Luke Starkiller in the Star Wars movies, the good ones. They got Gillian Anderson, who played Scully from the X-Files, now she's just a lesbian. The truth is out there. Scully! They got John Rice davies who should have been Pavarotti in something, but never was. Instead, he was the dwarf in Lord of the Rings. And speaking of Lord of the Rings, Gollum himself, Andy Serkis, showed up to be part of the project. And so did the bald Mark Strong, who is in everything. Other actors were announced, but I'm all about the A-listers, and I don't want to mention those filthy B-listers. Gary Oldman will be playing a character named Admiral Bishop, and he is very excited about the project because he's getting paid. You can play the alpha version of Star Citizen right now on your PC. It's nowhere near the full game or all of its modes, but it's something to chew on for now. Final release date of Star Citizen should be sometime in 2017, but just like weather and time, game development can make fools out of us all. I've made so many mistakes in my life. Let me know what you think of the new Star Citizen cast, and other than Dan Aykroyd, what other actors would fit in the Star Citizen universe? I'm rooting for Marlon Brando's dead corpse. I'll leave links to my sources so you can find out even more info about Star Citizen and what I foolishly left out. Now watch this fool fly across the screen. He's a gimmick. This whole channel is a gimmick. You can follow me on Twitter if you like my moxie. I'm going to keep you up to date with gaming news and my videos. Also, you can like my Facebook page. Shabbat Shalom. I'm not even Jewish. Thank you very much for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And perhaps we can find some passion together. Or maybe play a game of the new Tony Hawk and never touch video games again. I think you did well, Mike. Uh, you know, people have been talking and they're saying you're going downhill, but you know what? They're right. The final release date of Star Citizen. I didn't even mean to do that. Welcome to Friendly AI. I'm your host, Mike Colangelo, and I want passion. Did I turn on the microphone? Well, you did. You're smart. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, Reese. I'll fucking kill you. I don't care if Pete is watching. I'll kill a dog right on camera. Uh, just shut up. Just shut up. Let me finish. Reese and I apologize for the sounds in this video. It was mainly Reese. Um, she's a stupid dog. Vimeo killed the YouTube star. Vimeo killed the YouTube star. <laughs>